Hello everyone and welcome back. In the last video, we learned more about the Fibonacci and how to create the Fibonacci spiral and also the Fibonacci circles, which we are going to be using to create our logo designs. Okay, now in this video, we're going to be creating some designs in Adobe Illustrator using our Fibonacci circles. Okay, so I'm going to show you how this is done step by step and you're going to learn the rules and everything you have to uh, take note of while doing this okay so i'm going to open the last file which is the fibonacci circles file now this is it here and i can just click here to open it instead of going to open okay so i'm just going to click here to open it now we have it here okay i will just copy the circles edit and copy now i'll just create a new document okay create a new document and now we are going to create our designs with this document so Control f to paste in place okay perfect now the rule is when creating your designs with this fibonacci circles uh, in adobe illustrator you do not scale your circles individually Okay, you do not scale your circles individually if indeed you need to scale them okay so if you need to scale them you have to scale them collectively okay because if you scale them individually the proportion is going to get lost right so you're going to lose the proportion if you try scaling uh, them individually okay so that's very important for you to note and in order to create designs with these circles you will need a kind of sketch or an image which you want to follow okay a sketch or an image which you want to follow and it's actually possible to create the design without any sketch or without any image to follow if you really know what you want to achieve and you uh, really know what you want to do okay and mostly that will work for simple shapes okay that will work for simple logo marks okay not complex designs or, or, or not complex shapes okay so for complex shapes you will actually need an image to guide you or a drawing to guide you okay so you actually have a drawing and then find a way to create that drawing with these circles okay with these circles so we are going to see how to do that so first of all the first thing i'm going to create is i'm going to create um one without having any sketch or any guide okay without having any guide so i'm going to create that one first before creating some other ones with uh, the guide or the sketch okay so i'm just going to start by selecting this the the first two or the the two biggest circles the fibonacci circles here hold down alt and drag them to the right hand side while holding down shift okay so as to drag them in a, in a straight line so i'm going to align them to the middle once more to make sure i am doing everything accordingly so the next thing i'll do is i'll just select this one in the middle bring it hold down shift and bring it down to this point okay okay to the right hand side and then hold down alt and drag this one to the left hand side like this select the both of them Control c Control f okay that's to copy and paste in place and then hold down shift click here and rotate the two copies like this okay perfect and then the final thing i would like to do is select the, the all of them my key select all of them like this and hold down shift and then rotate the, them once okay by 45 degrees uh, and then we are done okay now the next thing would be is to select all of them and then go to our shape builder tool select your shape builder tool or you hit shift m for your shape builder tool and then hold down alt and delete some of this uh, these lines here the, the, this particular lines I'm deleting Just delete them okay that's holding down alt and then I'll come and click and join this ones in the middle okay click and join them in the middle that's without holding any key okay and then open your uh, your color your color panel while selecting your ship builder tool and then just click and drag choose a different color click and drag 
choose a different color click and drag and choose a different color click and drag perfect so this is now our new logo mark i'm just going to delete the the, the stroke and reduce the size of our logo mark and this is our new logo mark now i want to give it a gradient okay a gradient fill so i'm just going to select the, the fill color here and apply a gradient and just select a different color here give it this color and um let's see this color okay and then for this one we're also going to give it a gradient fill but we're going to change the color give it this color and see this color no you just have to experiment to see which one works better okay perfect we will rotate this one a bit and basically let's uh okay i was thinking we'll just copy one of these or uh, okay let me just give it a different color instead um or let me just give it this one for this one this one and this one this one okay so that we have them looking like this okay so guys this is now our new logo mark without using any guide without using anything we have just been able to create a logo mark from our fibonacci uh, circles okay so this is the first one i'm going to shift o and just take this guy up like this hold down alt and drag or one copy to the lower side and delete it okay so that we have it here and we have an empty artboard to create our next design so for our next design what we want to do is go to file place and then once you're in the folder you're going to see these images okay we have this image uh, which is images 94 i'm probably going to rename this uh okay these ones but just note the images i've selected so i'm going to start by selecting this one okay i'm going to start by selecting this one so please and click and drag like this okay so i'm just going to resize them the the image a bit size the bits maybe to this okay perfect now we're going to create a new layer and then for this one we're going to reduce the opacity a bit perfect and then lock the layer so we can work on it without selecting it okay so the first thing we'll do is we select our okay so we uh my circles are on this layer so i just want to um control x and control f to uh, cut and paste in place okay so i can lock this layer and work with this layer so select the first one hold down alt and drag it to this point so you have to note that uh the alignment mustn't be perfect i don't intend on making it perfect or as perfectly aligned as the image okay so i'll just do it uh, as quick as i can so it won't be perfectly aligned like the image okay so we are now going to do this one maybe select the both of them shift uh, m for the shape builder tool and then hold on alt and delete these lines delete these lines perfect now uh, for this other place we will want to create a demarcation like this so the first thing i'll do is uh, copy this one okay and then um okay let me see let me try using a smaller one let's see so you get the point this is just what you would need to do um let's see let's take the smallest one and see perfect now we select everything shift m for the ship builder tool come here uh, 
while holding down alt of course so as to delete then we delete this one sorry i shouldn't have deleted that one we delete this one and delete this one perfect and we see what we have now achieved we've now achieved this very beautiful curve i think we can delete some of this part here perfect now i just want to take this one again the bigger one and come down here so as to create this mouth demarcation or this beak the the bird's beak right now select everything shift m pull down alt and delete perfect now let's just uh, hide our our image to see what we've come up with so far so good so you can see how just cool the whole drawing is looking uh, so far okay perfect now for the next one i just want to use this one maybe um okay let's try using this one instead okay so let's see let's see let's see let's do something okay i think we could select this one and delete the bad parts which we don't want okay good so just adjust this guy a bit now i think we can work with this yep i think we can work with this or, or let's just do a little more adjustment here perfect now select everything shift m and now delete the parts we do not need perfect perfect okay now we have the head okay uh, now we don't want to copy everything as it is here uh, i'm just going to create something else i'm just going to create a head and do uh, some other things i'm not creating the whole image okay so for this part for the eye i'm just going to reduce this guy i'm, I'm just going to scale it because um, i don't intend it to be if you will not achieve circle so I'll just kill it okay and then um let's try using this one and see okay I think we'll just use this guy so select everything like this shift M delete this part and I would like us to have some demarcations here so we can have multiple colors okay let's try using this one and see okay maybe we need something bigger let's try this guy okay we'll use this one and this one like this perfect okay sorry i think i duplicated this let me delete the bad one <clears throat> so if i control y i'll be able to see outlines so i can just um kind of fit everything more perfectly okay perfect now i select everything shift m and delete 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 perfect now we have everything as i want it to look so i can delete this one and now i will select everything go to my shape builder tool select my color apply select a different color sorry select a different color apply and then select a different color apply here 
select this one apply here select this one apply here apply and finally apply okay so we are going to change the colors in a bit but for now let's select everything and just remove the stroke and then um, probably delete the layer or the picture rather and select everything here and just reduce the size okay and yeah this is what we have so for the colors i think i'll just steal some of these colors here and just um, select this guy sorry hit i for eyedropper tool click uh, maybe hit i for eyedropper tool click and then for this other one let me try using this color and see okay not bad not bad maybe we'll make some adjustments later on so for this one we'll give it this color for this one uh let's see it's working on the stroke instead for this one i will control f Ctrl C, Ctrl F to duplicate some piece in place, and then we'll just Shift X to give it the stroke. And this stroke is going to be white, and I'm um, going to increase the, the, the stroke size. Okay, for this color, I'm just going to make it black. And then for this one, I will uh, change the color to maybe. Um, this color or this color whichever one works best um, first of all let me delete this one and try seeing which color will work best for this okay now um, go to my gradient maybe reverse the gradient okay I think I'll just work with this let me reverse this and see so I don't want to make things too complicated here so I want to just um, want to just try to finish this as quick as possible, but I feel this should be of a different color. Let's just try using our our color guides tool, okay? So I'll work with this color. I'll work with this color just for experimental purposes maybe i'll just delete this guy and make this one bigger okay now i can control g to group everything and now as you can see we now have our logo mark our logo mark our bird head logo mark so we probably could just um have a name maybe bird head company name okay we change the fonts <laughs> whatever nothing too serious let me just delete this guy it's not important so i'm just going to have this one here so we can work on the last one Going to have another copy so we can work on the last one so we can just delete this one now and then uh, import our last image okay our, our last reference image now come to file come to place <coughs> then place this image here just drag it like this maybe expand it like this so you have to note that we are not going for an exact look okay we're not going for an exact look we're just going to create uh something similar okay but not something exact 
okay remember we're just trying to simplify the whole thing okay we're just trying to simplify the whole thing so first of all for this guy i'm going to start with the head okay i think it should be in this layer and uh, the opacity should be reduced also 59 okay and then locked let's see let's see if we can work with this one um i think it's too small let's see if we can work with this one okay i think we can work with this one Perfect. And the next thing we'll do is uh, duplicate this guy so as to form the beak. Okay? So as to form the beak. And duplicate this guy. Select both of them. Shift M. Delete and delete. Select both of them. Shift M. Delete and delete. Perfect. And we have the big. Okay. So let's create the demarcation. Um, okay, I think we can copy this one as well. So the both of them. Shift M. Delete. Ah, oh, sorry. Shift M. Delete. <coughs> And delete perfect now the next thing i would want to work on is the body but i don't want to go for this look okay i don't want to go for the original look i'll just play around to see what uh, i will achieve here okay So I want to achieve something like this and then I want to link this guy, the outermost part here to this guy I want to link them okay like this and maybe now I'm coming to delete this part, delete this part okay and delete this part delete here, delete here and for this other one i'm just going to leave it for now and then um oh i think i copied the original image sorry the original circle i didn't i didn't really um i didn't really uh, copy it i think i used the whole of it let me see yeah i think i used the whole of it so i'm just going to replace it here okay so all we do is copy so that we have them here so we can also use them later on if we need to okay so we're just going to copy once more and uh, for this one i'm going to bring it like this okay uh, maybe let me try a, a smaller one. Let me try using a smaller one. Um, I think we'll just work with the bigger one. <laughs> okay, a lot of this thing is trial and error, okay? So if you try and you see that you're not achieving what you want to achieve, you can just try something else. Perfect. So select everything, Shift M, and uh, let's now start to delete the unwanted parts. Delete and delete. So this is what I want to go for. Okay. Select Shift M, delete. Perfect. 
now the next thing i would want to do is um create another part create another part that flows like this okay i think i'll use this one So guys, let's just work with this. Shift M, delete and delete. Then delete. Ah, uh, sorry. I didn't select everything. So delete and delete. Okay, now we have this other part. Um, I actually want a demarcation here. Let's create a demarcation. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so for now let's just work with what we have here for now okay i think we can still do some more changes later on but for now i think we can do with what we have here now the next thing i would want to create is a feather but i don't want to go for this look okay i don't want to go for this look what i want to do is um start with something like this here Let's see something like this. And end it with something like this. Okay. And just kind of join these. Um Join them like this. Then for this one, click here and just kind of join them like this. Okay. Now, um, oh, we will actually need this guy to go further. Okay, we actually need this guy to go further. this okay so we can have this other one come like this okay, so we really did not even need <laughs> this guy here we actually needed it just to um just to get a little bit of tipping from here to here okay so well, we were actually going to use this big one Perfect. So this video is getting longer than expected. So I just try to speed up so that we don't just waste a lot of time. Okay. So for this one, remember I'm using shortcuts. I'm, I'm using A for the direct selection tool. I'm using V for the selection tool. Now I can select everything here. Shift M. Delete. Okay. Delete. Delete. 
and I can delete this one and delete and delete 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 and finally delete perfect so let me just off this so you can see what we've come up with so far okay <clears throat> perfect now we can go on to the next let's enable our layer and i'm kind of feeling that um we could have uh, let me try this i'm kind of feeling we could have parts of the body come like this okay just a little bit okay so let's try it so i'm going to delete 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 and delete so we have something like this let me just disable the image and see not bad not bad not bad perfect I'm going to take um, one of these to create the eye. Okay, and I feel that we could do one more thing here. Maybe we could do one more thing here. Okay, could do something like this. And then, sorry, select both of them, shift M, delete and delete, delete, oh, sorry, select all of them, shift M. Um, delete, 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 delete. Perfect. Okay. Um, there is a lot of controversy here. Um, okay. I'm just going to handle that in a bit. Okay, but this is what I was looking for. This curve here. This curve. Okay. So for this controversy here. I'm just going to take time to handle it. Okay, okay. I get uh, why the whole thing is happening like this. So let me just isolate the path and delete this point manually. And then delete this point also manually, okay? Now we have less controversy. I think we still have one part we do not need. Sorry. Uh, let's you know what let's select it the one we need okay and um, maybe you don't need to do this but this is my little way of sol of solving this okay and i'll just control x to cut and then for this one that i do not need i'll just delete and then control f to paste it back okay so you see everything is now uh, perfect now finally i'll just uh, find a way of cutting out the little cutting out a little demarcation here okay so select select the three of them shift m delete this guy delete this guy delete this guy delete uh, why is it not deleting? Delete. Perfect. Okay, so this is exactly the look I was looking for. So I needed this curve. I needed this feather. For this feather, I think... Um, okay, I think there is a little controversy here. So like everything, shift M. Delete and delete. And delete. Perfect. Now, we could also do something very little and interesting here oh you know what let's just apply the color first <clears throat> when i'm done applying the color we'll do what i intend to do okay so um we're now going to add colors so select everything 
and shape builder tool we're just going to add random colors here for now and we're not done with this we're not done with this we actually have some more details to add so for now we're just going to add random colors random colors okay uh, for the head um, maybe I'll, yeah let me just go for this look for now so select everything yeah this is our this is our image <laughs> now what i wanted doing for the feather i think first of all i will just create a little bit of detailing on the feather okay maybe something like this let me just give it a white color for now and see how it looks and then just kind of rotate it that's after duplicating it then rotate it and then duplicate another copy and rotate okay perfect so basically i think this will suffice so select everything shift m for the shape builder tool delete delete and delete perfect now um we can select our feather shift um or alt click and drag to create the copy i'm just going to make this copy rotated like this and what i will do is i will first of all send to the back okay so it's going to be at the back and then um you just want to have it show behind like this okay show behind <clears throat> so it will definitely be of a different color definitely be of a different color perfect now um maybe some little final touches will be done i just feel like adding some highlights on the body um, i think i'll just leave it like this i think i'll just leave it like this guys so as not to spend too much time all right so this is what we now have now for this i actually like this guy a lot so i want to remove the strokes but i want to allow that guy so for the uh, i'm just going to remove the stroke and have this one so i feel like boosting up the the um the stroke size and then let's give it this profile and see okay and let's just reverse the direction and see what we have um maybe this will work so i will just select it let me boost the profile the scale once more or the stroke rather once more and then just go to object and expand appearance okay and then select it and select this please uh this uh, body shift m and then just delete that part like this okay so we have it cut like this so basically this is what we have created now we can start adding our beautiful colors right okay we can actually delete the background and we can delete every other thing here okay so of course for the for the circles you can actually find them in this uh, project file which i will make available for you that's this fibonacci circles creation right and i'll also make this one available so you can see for yourself so now we can start creating we can start adding our colors let me copy this one here so for the body let's give it this color and this color okay perfect for this one let's give it a white and see okay um so it's not bad 
then for this one let's give it this color for this one let's give it this color for this one i think let's leave this color i just like how pale the blue is you make it brighter perfect and then for this one let's give it this color for this one let's give it this color okay and for this one let's see this color for this one let's see this color or this one whichever one works best let's delete this one first and see what we've got maybe you might need to work on the colors again so i think this kind of demarcation here is cool so maybe we'll leave it uh, like that for this one uh, i feel like playing around with the color combination a bit make this blue make this uh, closer to this color okay let's see this um not bad not bad let's try giving it this one let's see um Perfect. Mm. Okay. Actually, feel we should cut this guy out from the main body. Okay, we just cut it out from the main body. Perfect. Okay. So guys, this is what we have achieved using the Fibonacci circles. Okay, the logo mark we have achieved using the Fibonacci circles. So you can see how unique and beautiful the design is. So that's it for logo marks or rather that's it for the Fibonacci circles. So that will be it for this one and see you in the next one. Hey, so that's it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads. We post new videos every week covering topics in the fields of graphic design and illustration, motion graphics and video, branding and more. If you want to support us and get access to exclusive benefits such as the project files we use in our classes, live chat with us, shoutouts and more, consider becoming a patron on Patreon. You can join for as little as $3 a month and the link to our Patreon page is in the description below. And if you want to take your learning to the next level, you can check out the complete course of which this episode is a part of. And in the complete course, you get access to more than 10 hours of video lessons, project files and resources class exercises, a Q&A section, a certificate of completion, and more. You can get the course for a special discount by using the link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.